Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Occasional Series in MATLAB Tutorials. Today we'll be looking at complex numbers and plotting of complex numbers in MATLAB. So this will be a fairly basic uh, uh, exercise. So just to I have the script written here, the script will be supplied to you in class. And as before, on line 3 CLC will clear the screen, line 4 will clear the workspace, and line 5 will close any figures. Uh, the commands we're going to use here is plot, find, Israel, and in space, and we're going to use some of the subcommands of plot. Um, so we're going to start here, and we're going to create x as a vector from minus 4 to 4, and we're going to y is going to be the square root of 9 minus x squared. Now, just you should know this by here, but just where I've highlighted it is the dot power. So each element of x is going to be squared so if we say there the first element is minus 4 so minus 4 to be squared is going to be plus 16 and this we're going to end up with 9 minus 16 which is minus 7 <coughs> and we're going to get the square root of minus 7 which you should know by now is a complex number and we're going to plot and we're going to some add, add annotations and just before I run it I'm just going to put in a pause there Okay, so just save that and let's go with this bit. So there's my graph of y equals 9 minus x squared and we're just going to something odd just where the mouse is there and just where the mouse is there so we're just going to uh, comment on that. So we've got to the first pause which is there and then we're just going to look at the odd bit here. So just go back to the graph and just look at this bit here. <coughs> so I've written a few comments on line 28, 29, 30, 31. So MATLAB's plot command ignores the imaginary part of any complex data and plots only the real bits, which in the case of this example is always zero. Okay, Because as I mentioned in the beginning, we're going to get the square root of minus 7. So that would be just completely complex. So the horizontal segments y equals 0 at the end of each plot. That's there there. Go to the command prompt <coughs> uh, and you see the pause is up so and down here press any key to continue so we'll do that. Now something's going on here I just just go back to here. <coughs> so uh, we're going to use the is real command to check if all the entries is real. Okay, so the answer is zero. Zero is false. I know I could have done it this one. What is y? Remember y back here is the square root of nine minus x squared. So we've asked a question here on line thirty seven. Are all the elements of the vector y real? <coughs> if they are all real we get one. If one or more of the entries are complex, we get zero. We're on a pause at the moment. That's on line 38. Go back to the command prompt and you need to continue. Now, <coughs> excuse me, so just go back a little bit. Maybe I should put it in. A, so there's y, columns 1 to 3. I just have the screen very big and you see there at the either end we're getting uh, complex numbers. The real part is zero and the complex number is there. This is just to remind you. In the big in the middle of the graph, say around here, all the numbers are real and there's no complex bits. Now I'll get back to column M in a sec, so let's go back to the graph. So Y remember at either end has complex number in the middle is completely real. Now what we want to do here is on line 51. We want to find the vector, the entries in the vector y whose real bit does not equal itself. So, this this MATLAB command find, okay, we have a bracket, and inside, the real y does not equal y. So, how do we say it does not equal in MATLAB? Tilde equal, and that tilde is uh, just a shift. Uh, over the hash key. I don't have a, I can't display a keyboard on my screen. But just to the left of the enter, 
uh, there's a hash and above it it does the tilde. So what we're trying to find is um, find all the um, if the number is real then the real part equals itself and if the number is not real well, then the real part does not equal itself. So we found the, um, the non we found the complex bits, I was going to say find the non-real bits. Just go back to M. So columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 12, 13. So they be the bits at the minus 4 end. And then 88, 90, 91, 92, so 93, etc. 100 are at the plus 4 end. So what am I going on about here? So these entries here, say from 0 to minus 3, those entries are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. And the entries down here uh, from plus 3 on are 88, 89, 90, up to 100. So they're where the complex numbers are. And then what we're going to do is, so M is those numbers, so that's, and then we're going to say is YM, so Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y10, Y11, Y12, Y13, Y88 to Y100 are going to be replaced by NAN and NAN is not a number. Okay, And then we're going to plot again. So I've just got, let's look at figure 2. Now I suppose so. <coughs> so we've gone from minus 3 to plus 3 and we've ignored the tails at the end. So that's what, and when we have NAN, not a number, we don't get any of these tails out there. We're just plotting the real bits there. Okay. So I've done that plot. 65, 66, 67. You should know by now is how to add an X label, Y label, and a title. If you don't, just have a little look. X label, Y label, and title. Now, then we're going to do a 3D plot, so it's the square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. So we x and y from above. We're going to do a lin space of minus 4 to plus 4, and there's going to be 40 spaces. y is going to be minus 4 to plus 4, 40 spaces. And then we're going to get a 3D, and how are we going to get a 3D? We're going to use mesh grid. We've generated z there. And then on, oh, then we're going to get, and we're only going to plot the real bits. And I mentioned briefly, put on the grid, put on the box, make the axis equal, label X, Y, and Z, and then put on the title, and there's the graph. You can spin this, and you should be able to spin it, like so. And how did I get that to spin? I just went a little quickly there. I just did rotate 3D. And there we are. Okay, and you see down here, just if you look down here, it gives you the azimuth. And the azimuth is basically the height. So, and so there we are. So, we got that by mesh. We put on the grid there. The box on, yeah, we got these boxes as well at the back, and then we put out, we made the axis equal, and then we put on 79, 18, 81, we put on a few titles, uh, sorry, we put on a few labels, and then we put on a few titles. Okay, so, hope that helps, hope I didn't go too fast, thanks very much for listening.